welcome to another Funtabulous tutorial and today we'll be learning how to replace the sky in a photo using Adobe Photoshop. You can use any version of Adobe Photoshop but here for this tutorial I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. So this is our starting image which have very dull and boring sky and we'll replace this sky with another sky which is which is here and will take this to the this level and you can see that it is more vibrant and this has created a wow factor in this image so let's get started <laughs> First thing first, uh, we'll take this image of our starting image and then we'll take this sky, this one which is here. I have imported both them, both of them on the same document, alright. So you have to make sure, first thing first, you have to make sure that your image of which you want to replace the sky here, uh, this bird silhouette, so we'll take that image on the top of the sky because it has uh, mostly black and the gray color so it would be very easy for us to blend both the images together so using layer blends mode option so by double clicking this layer of the birds uh, we go to this option which is blend if gray this layer these are the handles which can which we can drag to the left side or the right side here we'll drag it to the left side so it has blended in wherever the gray color is in it has blended into the image which is below this image that is our sky so we have blended it but if we do this way we don't get the perfect blending because we get lots of certain other things like certain uh, these jaggy, jagged uh, uh, edges. We don't want that. We want that to be perfect. So in order to do that, we'll just press the Alt or Option on Mac, Alt on Window and Option on Mac and we'll just click and drag this handle. Alright. This way our edges would be smoother. Comparison to this. I don't know whether you can see it or not but I can see it clearly and you can adjust this as per your own like so that's it press ok so our, our image has perfectly blended it we have replaced the sky very easily very simple step so now we need to take it to further in order to give it a wow factor we'll just merge both the layers by pressing ctrl alt shift E. This way it creates a merge layer of all the layers which are visible right now in the Adobe Photoshop or in your document on which you are currently working. Alright. So we can uh, use different techniques. First of all uh, we can use, uh, we can do that within Photoshop also or using any plugin, third party plugin. Uh, first of all we'll start doing that within Photoshop itself. So let's get started. Uh, create a levels layer and uh, you can increase or decrease the level. This is the mid-tone, this is the shadow part and these are the highlights part. So we'll drag the highlights part to the left side to give the more light into the sky. Now we can take this, this is the RGB per RGB mode, we can take the red also, click red and we can increase or decrease the, if you want to give it a more purplish look, you can take the red to the left side or if you want it to give a green color hue, then you can take it to the left side. I think this is good and similarly with the highlight, maybe here, yes. Similarly with the green color, head tone, highlights, 
shadows again with the blue color more blue towards the red or towards the green maybe I think little bit towards the red is looking good and the shadow we don't want that this one highlight will remain keep it there itself all right next thing we can create the curves if we you give any any photo an s curve slight s curve then it will automatically pop up the colors and contrast in your image like this slightest of s curve pops out the images also pops out the colors in your photo you can see that by clicking this icon what was the previous and after this applying of the curve all right if you don't want that much you can always adjust that all right similarly this is the rgb mode if you want selectively with the selective color like red you can always do that if you want more red to in the highlight this is the highlight part this is mid tone and this one is the shadow part so whichever you want if you want to take away the red you can take it to the downside if you want to increase the red you can take it to the upside this is all up to you this is you the choice you have to make all right i think this one is looking good mm. then green channel similarly then blue channel you can do whatever you like i think our image is ready and if you want it take it want to take it to the further next level you can always click on the clear uh, color balance or you can you can uh, browse us from here also from clicking this icon color balance and it will create a color balance adjustment layer and this is the again mid tone uh, you can change the mid tone of the color towards green towards red whichever as per your own liking all right similarly with the shadow mm -hmm. all right similarly with the highlights it's all up to you which way you want it right so this is our look final look which we have created within photoshop without using any third party plugin now we'll use the third party plugin called google's color efx color efx pro and we'll create the same look so let's get started let's turn these all layers off this is a blended image first thing first we'll do the non-destructive editing as we always do by pressing ctrl j we'll create a copy of our main uh, main image this way all the effects would be applied on this layer and our original image will remain unaffected all right so go to the filter and nick collection color effects pro 4 this I have already installed if you have not installed you can install it always and it will show up here color efx pro 4 it will take a little time to open depending on the speed of your system or how much document you are using this is a very large image which I am using if you are using a small image like 1270 1280 by 720 then it will be a faster so let it open yes it's it got opened now it has this is the all the recipes are here all the options are here and these are the options which we, these are the effects over here and these are the options which we can we can adjust as per our liking there are certain recipes also which are inbuilt or you can create your custom recipes in color fx pro and you can later on when you uh, browse another or do editing on another photo 
these are already available with you and with just one click you can create the look again all right so these are the things you can click and always get the better result this is also looking good this one is also looking good soft landscape all right and this one again winter saturation all right so what we want uh, this let uh, let's get started from the start so we'll just turn it off so this is the empty layer go to the options first thing first which i do is using pro contrast this pro contrast effect is very very useful and very good to pop out the image so you can cl click this color correct correct color cast option because if there is any color cast on your image like certain sometimes you get the green hue or yellow hue or red hue and it can correct that like this in this image we have a blue hue and if we drag this this uh, handle way up to the left or the right side sorry then it takes away the blue color available in our image so we don't want that color contrast it increases the contrast of the color available in the image and that way we get out get more more of the details present in our image dynamic contrast this also brings out lots of detail you can see that how it is working all right i think this one is perfect you can always check by turning it off this is the before and this is the after you can also compare by clicking compare this is the before and this is the after add another filter and this time we'll use sunlight uh, where is sunlight yes it's here this is the strength of the light how much strength of the light you want this one is the temperature whether you want the warm temperature or the cool temperature in this case we all want cool temperature so we'll take it to right side maybe here you can increase or decrease the brightness as per your, your own liking contrast again saturation all right you get the idea now click another add filter this time we'll use mm -hmm, where is it solarization oh. polarization it works like a polarized filter on your camera but this is available if you haven't used polarized filter on your camera while shooting the photo this for option is available over here you can rotate it and increase or decrease the saturation or the contrast in your image how much strength you want it look if you take it way up to the right how it affects our image so keep the strength only up to here all right this one is good i think our final image is ready or uh, you can always save your recipe by clicking this save recipe you can name it whatever you want all right let me take it pro contrast sky and press ok this way it would be available with us on this recipe panel next time we want to do the same editing to any photo or similar photo we just click it and it will be done and press ok it will take some time to apply the effect onto our image this because it's a very large file it's taking that much of time otherwise it would not have taken that much of time all right so this is our final version so from where we have started we have started from here this is our image 
we have created this and this is our final version all right thank you so much for watching and if you like please subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the like button thank you so much